Jesus. If you died right now, do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? Do you know that your sins are forgiven? Do you know that you're ready to meet him? Is there any doubt whatsoever in your life that you're ready to meet the Lord? Every head is bowed and no one's looking on. Please, in reverence to God, because I don't want anyone embarrassed. If you're here tonight and you don't know that your sins are forgiven, it's not going to save you, but you're going to have to find a place to start. And the starting point is by realizing that you need the Lord. If you're here and you need the Lord tonight and you're not where you should be with him, would you raise your hand and say, Cal, I want you to pray for me. I need to get things right with God. God bless you, somebody else. God bless you, somebody else. Just raise your hand too where you're at right now. I'm not gonna come to you and embarrass you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. Somebody else, you can take it right back down then if you want. I'm not out to embarrass you. I'm just asking because I care. I wanna go to heaven with you. These folks wanna go to heaven with you. And we don't have the power to save you, but thank God we know the one that saves. And his name is Jesus. And he has the power to do what you cannot do for yourself. Is there somebody else you'd raise your hand right now and say, I need the Lord, preacher. I'm not right with him. I know I'm not right with him. I need to get, I need to get things settled with God. I need to trust in the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary and the power of the resurrected Son of God, Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of sin in my life. Would you raise your hand too? Pray for me. Pray for me. As, as they're playing softly before they ever sing the first verse, I'm glad you raised your hand, but would you do this right now? Just get up out of your seat right now. And if you'll come right here to the front, I'll make you a couple promises. You'll not be alone. There'll be somebody to meet you and pray for you. They're not gonna ask you questions that will embarrass you, and they're not gonna ask you questions that you can't answer. We're not out to do that. They're gonna come, and they'll be here to pray with you. But the good news is the Lord will meet you here, and the Lord will give you what you're longing for, peace in your heart and just as quickly as you raise your hand if you'll get up out of your seat right now and come I'll guarantee you the first thing you're going to say after you talk to the Lord and settle things with him tonight first thing you'll say to yourself why have I waited so long why did I wait this late why didn't I come to Jesus sooner so right now will you just get up from your seat will you come will you come if you're on the inside of one of the rows of seats when you stand up, they'll let you out. They'll let you out. Will you come? Will you come right now? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stand. Maybe this will make it easier on you. We'll stand while they sing, just to make it easier on you to have access to get out. Now, coming to the front won't save you, but coming to Jesus will. So why don't you come right now? Do more than raise your hand. Just come right on out of your seat. Will you come as they sing? Come on. Come on. Will you come? Will you call?